The market fluctuates up and down all the time, creating key levels on the chart. These levels can be used for technical analysis to predict what may happen next on the traded asset. These chart patterns can signal a bearish, bullish or a mutual trend direction. After traders have successfully analyzed the market, they can either go long or go short on a market. Next, put your stop loss and take profit and watch the magic happen. Later in this video, we'll discuss how can you download this free ebook covering everything you need to know with regards to technical analysis and chart patterns. This video is class 8 of our masterclass, a step-by-step -step guide where I teach you everything you need to know about trading futures market. It's worth noting that everything learned in this video can be applied whether you're trading stocks, forex or cryptocurrencies. Now let's get started. The double top pattern is a bearish reversal pattern. The pattern occurs when the market is actually moving on the uptrend before retracing back to this line over here. Then buyers are in control again trying to push the price up but they fail to actually push the price beyond the previous resistance. Then the sellers are in control pushing the market beyond the previous pullback. Now you can only enter this pattern once the price has broken this previous pullback over here. And remember this is the bearish reversal pattern which means we have to go short on the market. So you come here and start trading from here. To calculate where you should be putting your stop loss and take profits, you need to measure from the pullback to the previous resistance and use that to actually take your trade. So then you'll have to move your take profit to that exact point. Again, depending on your leverage, you need to adjust also your stop loss. Now looking at a chart of BTC USD, we can see an M pattern forming. Now, as mentioned previously, we have to first identify the M pattern. Now you can see that the market is trading on the uptrend before retracing back, but the buyers managed to push the price back. However, they failed to actually break beyond the previous resistance and be able to close the candle above the previous resistance. And for that reason, an M pattern or a double top pattern is forming. As mentioned previously, to enter this trade, we have to enter once this line here is broken. Now, an alternative to entering this trade is that you have to wait for the markets to come back and retest this support here. As mentioned previously, this is a bearish reversal pattern, which means we have to go short on the market. Now, let's see how the market played out. Our entry position will be here, and to calculate our take profit, we have to measure this line and bring this over here. And we should adjust our stop loss according to our risk to reward ratio. But I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Now, let's see how the market plays out. And you can see that this trade would have been profitable as the market actually came and broke our take profit. Now, let's move on to the next pattern, which is an inverse of a double top pattern. This one here is a double bottom pattern. Again, this is formed in the form of W and this one is formed in the form of the alphabet M. So this pattern is a bullish reversal pattern. This pattern occurs when the market is moving on a bearish trend before bouncing off and creating higher lows. But the sellers manage to push the price back to the previous point. Then sellers are in control again, pushing the price beyond the previous resistance. Now you can only enter this pattern once the price has broken this line. Again, this is a bullish reversal pattern, which means you have to go short and this is where you enter your position. Again, to calculate your take profit and stop loss, you need to measure the distance from this top to the bottom over here and bring that over there. Then move your take profit to that exact point. Again, depending on your leverage position, you need to adjust your stop loss accordingly. Now let's move on to the next pattern. This next pattern is called head and shoulders and it's a bearish reversal pattern. To analyze it, head over to your tools and select head and shoulders. From here, you can see that the market is moving on an uptrend before retracing back, but the buyers take control again and push the market to create higher highs. But sellers take control and push the market to its previous support. From here, the buyers take control and create something called a fake out, but you can see that as the buyers are taking control, it's creating the right shoulder. From here, you can see the left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder. Now, sellers, are in control by pushing the market back here. 
Now, how do you trade this reversal pattern? Again, because we said this is the bearish pattern, that means we have to go short. You'll start trading once the market has actually broken this neckline here. So which means this will be your entry position. Again, to calculate your take profit and stop loss, come here and bring this tool from top to the neckline and actually bring it over here. Then move your take profit right to that point. Again, depending on your leverage position, adjust your stop loss accordingly. It's worth noting that this pattern occurs on a higher time frame, which means if you're trading on a 5 minute, 30 minute, or even 15 minute time frame, you may not be able to see this pattern. Now, let's move on to the next pattern. Now, the next pattern is called the inverse head and shoulders, and you can see that it's an exact opposite of the head and shoulders. This is a bullish reversal pattern and it occurs when the market is actually moving on a downtrend before the buyers take control by pushing the price high. Again, head over to your tools and click on head and shoulders again. And from here you can see that the market is moving on a downtrend before creating a fake out and sellers manage to push the price back to create lower lows. Now buyers are in control by taking the price back to that neckline. Before sellers push the price back. And you can see that it's creating a left shoulder and a right shoulder. Now, how do you trade this pattern? You can only enter the trade from here. Remember, this is a bullish reversal pattern, which means we have to go long. Now you bring your tools and start trading from here. Again, to calculate your stop loss and take profits, measure from here right to the neckline and actually bring this over right here. Then adjust this accordingly. Depending on your leverage size and risk to reward ratio, adjust your stop loss accordingly. Now, let's move on to the next pattern. A triangle is a chart pattern that is characterized by covering the price range that's typically followed by a continuation of a trend. The triangle is paused in the underlying trend but may indicate a continuation of a trend or a reversal of a trend. The ascending triangle is a bullish continuation pattern from here, you can see that the market is trading on an uptrend before meeting this horizontal resistance. From here, you'll find a trend line that is acting as support. Now, the market will be trading sideways with the lower volume before breaking higher with a higher volume. Now, how do you trade this pattern? You can only trade this pattern once the market has confirmed a breakout with higher volume. Now, seeing that this is a bullish continuation pattern, from here, we need to go long. Now, how do you calculate your take profit and stop loss? From here, you need to measure from the horizontal support, then move this over to the start. Now, adjust your take profit accordingly and make sure that you put your stop loss just below the trend line or adjust your stop loss according to your risk to reward ratio. Let's move on to the descending triangle. The descending triangle is just an opposite or an inverse of the ascending triangle. Now the ascending triangle is a bearish continuation pattern. From here we can see that the market is trading on a downtrend before meeting the horizontal support. The trend line will act as a resistance when the market is moving sideways will actually have a lower volume before breaking with higher volume. Now how do you trade this pattern? You can only enter this trade once the market has confirmed that it's breaking the horizontal support with a higher volume. Now, seeing that this is a bearish continuation pattern, we have to go short. And this is where you enter your trade. Now, how do you calculate your stake profit and stop loss? You measure from the opening of the mouth right into the horizontal support. Now, bring that over to your entry point and adjust your trades accordingly. Also, adjust your stop loss and take profit according to your risk to reward ratio. In the charts of a British pound against the US dollar, we can see that the market is actually moving on a downtrend. And here we can identify a descending triangle. How do you identify this? By finding a horizontal support followed by a descending trend line. Now we can see that the price is actually coming to touch this point several times before bouncing off but unable to break beyond this trend line and you can see the price is touching this point which makes our analysis valid now how do you trade this 
as mentioned this is a bearish pattern which means we have to go short on the market and you can only trade once the price has broken this line here and to actually calculate your stop loss calculate from here to the top again you can always calculate from here as well and this will be your take profit now as mentioned we have to go short on the market but we only gonna go short once the market has actually broken from here now let's see how this plays out as you can see this trade was also successful the symmetrical triangle is a mutual pattern formed by two trend lines both happening roughly at an equal slope one from the top and one from the bottom now the reason why this is a mutual pattern is because the market can go either way now you can see that the price is trading on an uptrend before starting to move sideways in between this support and resistance but there's no guarantee that the price will break on the upside or on a lower side hence this is a mutual pattern the rising wedge is a bearish reversal pattern you can see that the market is trading on an uptrend before moving sideways but as it moves sideways it's actually losing momentum before breaking lower now how do you trade this pattern you can only trade this pattern once the market has actually broken this support trend line now because this is a bearish reversal pattern we should be going short and this is exactly where we'll be shorting the market now measure from the opening of the mouth right into the support trend line and bring that over here and adjust your take profits accordingly Depending on your risk to reward ratio, you must also adjust your stop loss. Now let's move on to the falling wedge. The falling wedge is a bullish reversal pattern that indicates that tension is actually building up on the market and the price will most likely break on the upside. Now you can see we've got a support and also a resistance. Once the price break the resistance, that's when you should be going long because this is a bullish reversal pattern so you can only enter the market once the price has broken this trend line so flags are areas of consolidations within the chart where the market pulled back and start moving sideways you can easily identify these flags because they look similar to your national base flag you can see that the flag is shaped in a form of your normal flag and that's why it's actually called a flag and you can see that the market will start moving sideways before breaking up it's very important to understand that when the stick of the flag is too long then you should ignore that signal so if the stick is too long you should be ignoring that trade only trade when the stick is a little bit shorter so that you can easily calculate your stop loss and take profit without having false signals as mentioned earlier flags are continuation of a trend which means as a trader you should be trading towards the direction that the trend is headed to now let's talk about a bull flag a bull flag is a bullish flag which means you should be going long on the market as you can see the market is trading upwards before retracing back and start trading sideways before breaking the resistance with higher volume now to trade this you need to keep in mind some few things and that is if the stick is too long then you should be ignoring the trend completely so to calculate to take profit and stop loss you need to be measuring from the top down to the bottom as mentioned if the stick of the flag is too long you should ignore it so you must only trade when the stick is a little bit shorter now to calculate your take profit and stop loss make sure that you measure the 90 degrees across then move that to your take profit so this will be your entry and that will be your take profit and seeing that this is a bull flag we need to be going long on the market adjust your take profit and stop loss accordingly and that is how you trade a bull flag now next is a bear flag now a bear flag is an opposite of a bull flag and we'll go in depth in touching all these in more details in our book as i told you in the beginning of this video you'll be able to download this book for free once we are actually done editing the book now when we're done i'll have the link in the description of this video where you can actually go and download the book for absolutely for free but 
don't you worry if you are subscribed in this channel you also get a post notifications because we'll make a part two of this video where we discuss all the chapters of that book and all the chart patterns within this book so if you want to get your hands on this book for free make sure that you smash the like button and also subscribe turn on all post notifications so that you are alerted every time we upload a new video now a bear flag means that we should be going short on a market now similarly the market is trading on a downtrend before bouncing back up and start moving sideways before breaking that trend line support now once the market breaks the trend support that's when you actually want to go short on the market again to calculate your stop loss and take profits you want to measure from here across the 90 degrees and use that as your take profit and your entry position adjust your stop loss and you should be good to go now this video was part eight of our crypto masterclass where we go in depth with everything you need to know to trade cryptocurrencies more specifically on the futures market now join me in class number nine where we go in depth with understanding which time frame you should be using as you can see there are so many time frames when you're actually trading so join me in the next class by clicking on the video showing up next as always don't forget to like the video subscribe leave any questions that you may have in the comment section below I will see you on the next class. Bye-bye.